606. Time for a look at your forecast. Good morning, Russ. Good morning to you, Mary. Got a nice long life ahead of me with all the coffee I put in myself this morning already. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll get started on this uh, shortened work week for some. Uh, this weather report is brought to you by Rogers. Nice, clear, unobstructed view out over English Bay. It's not clear in every direction, but we're in pretty good shape compared to that unsettled weekend's worth of weather. Have a look at how cool it was over parts of the province. We're talking about the July long weekend. We had a high of 15 in Cranbrook yesterday. It was quite wet through parts of Revelstoke and the Kamloops. Temperatures in the teens. Those were your maximums in early summer. So we're going to improve upon those numbers somewhat over the following few days. But you can see there's still a sort of a trough of low pressure carved out around the southern two-thirds of the province. And that's why it's been so cool. Lots of clouds, lots of shower activity still over parts of the interior. The difference on the coastline is now we have something of a northerly flow developing. And as it comes down over the Coast Range Mountains, enough subsidence to clear skies out, provide us with some summer sunshine. And I think locally, we can warm things up a few notches at a time through the first half of this week. So currently, we do see some wet weather into parts of Revelstoke. It's clouded over in Kamloops. Coastal areas clearing out quickly in Victoria. East side of Vancouver Island looks great as well. We'll zoom in and I'll show you the distribution of the clouds and where we might see some big uh, buildups this afternoon. Some clearing on the coastline. Yes, the eastern uh, horizon, somewhat cloudier in the valley. Over the neighboring mountains, we'll see those local buildups at the end of this afternoon. So some ominous threatening clouds over the peaks and in the northeast sector. That's about it. Chance of rainfall around here today, it's zero, which is nice compared to the weekend. So zooming in on your day one forecast, plenty of sun this afternoon. A modest high, 21 degrees. That's normal. We'll up the ante a little bit for the next couple of days. I think we're into the mid-20s tomorrow, maybe 27 inland. Now, Thursday is a bit on the muggy side. Near 30 inland, the breeze starts to blow, but it's a very warm southerly wind on Thursday. And ultimately, it ushers in the change, which comes at the end of the week. Probably some scattered showers. Now, it's a small chance, but they're in the forecast as it cools down and clouds over. That's Friday, Saturday. Second half of the weekend shows a lot of promise. Speaking of promising, you're looking pretty good this morning, Thor. Welcome back. Well, after a week of mornings with a 10-month-old, it's good to be back. Let me tell you that. <laughs> no doubt it is. Yeah, work is great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Welcome relief. Thank you very much, Russ. Good to be back. And we'll check traffic details right now. Good morning to everyone out there. We're looking good on the major routes. We've got a little bit of an issue on Highway 1 eastbound in Chilliwack. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but let's begin 